So Hadar is getting ready to go to work because some people's gonna get released. He's gonna say goodbye to them. They've been there for about two, three years. Is that right? Yeah. So he's really excited this morning about leaving. Yeah, I'm excited about leaving. That's pretty much how I feel. Yep. Pretty much. This is a dress that I got from Women Within. Yes. I think the cut may make me look a little bigger than what I really am. But I like it, it's comfortable. This is the Bomba. These are Cheeky Monkey and these are not organic. I've been looking for Cheeky Monkey. These are made by Awesome Bomba. B M B H. <laughs> Bomba. Okay, since Hadar is gone, I'm just going to take this opportunity to start talking smack about him. I love my husband. I love him very much. But since he has been home, the workload has not been equal at all. And not only has it not been equal, which I would be totally fine with, but he's like distracting me from doing what I'm doing at the moment to do something stupid. Like, what is this thing doing on the floor? I don't know, I'm busy. Okay. I just had to rant about that. The workload is not equal right now. So what I thought, oh, it would be great if my husband would like stay home with me and he could help me and you know, we could go and do stuff together. But that hasn't happened. So he's got the GTFO and go back to work. This, it ain't right. My vlogs have been lack because he's not helping me with that. I'm trying to get the cooking thing going back up because he's home, he can help me. He's not helping me with that. So, you cannot do YouTube and not have help. You can't do it. At least if you're not gonna have help, you can't have distractions. I got a two-year-old distraction and I got whatever, how old is he, 25? I got a 25-year-old distraction, 24-7, distracting me from what I need to get done rant over. Hi. So we haven't been eating this week and it has been so much nicer just to cook for one person, a two-year-old, than it is to cook like really big meals for Hadar. And we've actually saved a lot of money in water washing dishes, uh, in groceries, in traveling to get the groceries, yeah, and cooking cooking on the stove and stuff in the oven. So, look at that face. But I, I do want to say again, I love my husband. He is an excellent provider, but when he is home, he is no help at all. He causes me more work. And it's difficult already without any help with anything, anything. And then when someone comes and they stay home all day and they like distract you from what you need to actually get done now, that's hard. It's like you, you wouldn't even understand it unless you're in the situation where your husband works and then he gets hurt and then he has to stay home. Like I would... Five months ago, I would say, that would be a dream come true. My husband gets hurt, he has to stay home, he can help me. Sometimes it doesn't work out that way. I mean, Hadar is a hard worker, and one way that I can get him to actually do things is all I have to do is go do the dishes. 
and then he gets up and he starts doing things, right? Which is great. Pretty much I'm pretending to work really hard because washing dishes ain't hard, you know? It takes me like five minutes. I wash dishes two or three times a day. But as soon as I get up to wash dishes, he gets up and he vacuums or he hangs the laundry or, you know, something. He's doing something to help. If you jump on there again, you're going to get it. Daddy said no. Oh, and then we differ on the child rearing. Hadar thinks that Raphael should be a man. So he doesn't understand child things. Normal child things that children's do. So I have to explain to him, that is normal. Kids do that. They run around. They flop on the ground. <sighs> See? Like that. Keep your feet on the ground. Keep your feet on the ground. Yeah, keep your feet on the ground. Keep your feet. Safe travels. Safe travels. And you go and press yike. Yeah, subscribe and press yike. Is it just kids? Kids do that. Hadar doesn't like kids. I don't know if I ever said that or not. He doesn't like kids. So he had some bad experiences where his mom took in different families and they had really terrible kids. And he was a kid himself, you know, teenager when this all went on and he had to give up his room and. Uh, the kids that they took in were like screaming all night and he developed a, a dislike for children and I've actually never known a man to seriously like kids so that's pretty much normal to me but I don't need to hear it constantly like what's he doing what's he it what's it am I complaining too much I have not had anybody to talk to. And that's another thing too. It's like, I don't have anybody. I don't have anybody. I am alone here. And sometimes I do feel trapped because there are several reasons why we can't even go outside. So, that's me complaining. See, so I'll, I'll let you know when I'm complaining. Sometimes I'm just explaining things, but today I'm actually complaining. But I'm sure by the time Hadar gets home today, I'm going to be really happy to see him. It's because half of my work is almost done. <laughs> so when he gets home, I'll be like, hey, I ain't busy. I got my stuff done. Chill. You know what I mean? Uh, do you, can you relate to me at all? Can you relate? I, like, I thought that this would be a dream come true. My husband's staying home. We could go places. We could do things. We could get out. I said, don't you want to do something tomorrow? Because, you know, you're not working. Don't you want to go out and do something? I know his leg's broke, you know, but... We could go do something, it doesn't require that much walking. And I said, well, you know, I've been wanting to watch this show in town, it's called WOW, and it's at the hotel, it's like a, a really neat play, it's not even a play, it's entertainment. They dance and they sing and they circus, Cirque du Soleil, whatever, a bunch of stuff. Fun, really fun. Don't you want to do that? Now, do you want to watch a movie? You want to go to the theater? No. Okay. Well, you want to go to the beach? No. Okay. You want to go to the beach? But he wants to go back to work. He's going to go back to work. I want him to go back to work, too. Uh, yeah. Seriously. I, I thought it would be different, and I expressed that to him last night. I, I said, you're home. We're just wasting time, you know. Just, just, what are we doing? And basically, it's like just a, if I get asked one more time, why is this here? Why is that here? What is he doing? 
Do you have to poop? Did you poop in your pants? I'm going a little crazy. I just want to say Raphael has not pooped in his pants in a very long time. Not a long time. No, but he does fart a lot. He's going to go back and work. He's going to watch a movie and go on a beach. We're going to go to, he's going to go to work and me and you's going to watch a movie and go to the beach. He's going to watch a movie and get his standing on. You're going to be my best friend. We're going to go do stuff together. Just me and you. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Press the camera on. Press the camera on. Finally, we got some rechargeable batteries just for Raphael. Two cameras. Two cameras. Cheers. Yes. Beijos. Two camera. Two camera. Lachaim! Two camera! Yay! 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 Let me go to my computer, my second home. I'm in the home. I have my future house. Yeah, that's my picture, my future house. That's so funny. We have a strange cat. Also like to note that I'm probably pretty hard to live with myself so I love my husband though I love him love him he's he's really he's really a good guy he's just very uh, military he's very military and we are complete opposites like there's black over here and there's white over here well go deeper than that much deeper we are complete opposites the only thing we have in common and there are a lot of differences between that too is gaming we like to play games but he likes to do different things in the game that i like to do so it's just like we're complete opposites complete so what do you do when you're complete opposites and you live together and you're around each other 24-7? You go crazy! Honestly, I don't think that I ask for too much. I don't think that I want too much. Uh, but the things that I want, he just can't do. He can't do it. He can't do it. Because that's not him. It would be like asking him to go shopping for clothes, my clothes, with me. That would 
he might not even survive that if if we did that literally I think it would kill him if he had to do that so uh, there's some things he can't do so that's why I started looking for a gay husband to do things with I think that would be the safest thing for our relationship is for me to find a gay husband I mean his best friend could be my gay husband but he lives in Tel Aviv so that's not gonna work out that's way too far away and we're never ever gonna live near Tel Aviv ever I will move back to the States before I live in Tel Aviv. I do not like it there, not one bit. So. <laughs> and that's the truth. I've already told Hadar I will not live there. Yeah, there's probably a couple other places in the world that I would not live, and Tel Aviv is one of them. Um, it's too crowded for me. It's everything that I hate in one city, pretty much. And I've only visited there three times, and every time I go there, I hate it. And I about have an anxiety attack. I just can't stand it. So, I'm sorry today's vlog was all about me complaining, but sometimes I gotta, I gotta get it out. I gotta get it out so I can get over it. You know, sometimes you have to go through it to get over it. I want to get over it and keep rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Roll, roll on. Roll, roll on, roll, roll on, roll on. Raphael's been playing with a kitty and we have told him probably, I think I have heard, stay away from the kitty about 82 times in the last week. I'm not exaggerating. I think Raphael, he just likes hearing it. Hadar. Ah, I just stepped on a block! I a block. It was a square one. Put your pants on. There's also a round one on the floor, but I had to step on I a square a one. Side. Because it's got eight sides that will poke the crap out of your foot. Anyway, so at 8 o'clock this morning, Hadar made Raphael pick up his bedroom. And I said, won't you wait until he takes a nap or he goes to bed tonight? And he's taking the screws out of his bed. Bad. Bad. This. Very bad. Time out. Time out. You aren't subscribed yet? Please subscribe and like. Comment and share. Fully living. Three brands here that I don't like and another one that I do. But. Yes, press. And drop. Oh, done. Nobody wants to see your mommy finger. Here I am, here I am. How you do? <laughs>